Hey, is that... Why, yes, I think it is. Is it really? Yes, I do believe so. Look, it's coming this way. Oh my god, it's the GTA Netcast. You gotta make a mark and move when you want to that determination To steal what you can and run from the nation Hey, hey, what do you say? We automate a secret to speed from our getaway Take it to the edge, there's nowhere to hide And call up the boy, let's go for the joyride Welcome to the GTA Netcast, the Grand Theft Auto podcast that doesn't suck. This is episode number one of our new season, our version 2.0, season 2.0, our fresh start. This is our inaugural episode, and we're doing things a little bit different this time round than we were doing back a couple of years ago before GTA 4 even came out in the first version of the GTA Netcast. In all future episodes of the GTA Netcast, this version, we're going to have different segments about 10 to 15 minutes long each, starting off with banterer, uh, just back and forth talk between the hosts, that's right, it'll be more than me, we're also going to have a question of the week to go out to the community, we'll have GTA news coming in from the forums as well as other sources, uh, we'll also have focus on the GTA forums community as a whole, pulling in some hot topics from different areas, and we're going to have a nice call-in chunk of time so people can call and talk to the hosts, talk to me, and that'll be hosted on TalkShoe.com. First up in the news, Grand Theft Auto V, not out till 2012. This is coming from industry analyst Michael Pachter. He says that the next Grand Theft Auto will not be out until uh, 2020, <laughs> 2012, unless we're lucky, and it might come out around Christmas 2011. Uh, personally, I think that industry analysts like this guy are full of shit. They're a lot like television psychics who say they can talk to your dead relatives from beyond the grave while they throw out general assumptions based on information that everyone has access to. So please just plug your ears, ignore these people, and go on with your daily lives. But as Metro UK does state, it is a slow news day, so hell, why not waste some space? You need to put ads up somewhere, so why not here? If you've wanted to play GTA 4 as a first-person shooter, well, this is your chance. A mod has been released for the PC version of GTA 4. Uh, This has been reported all over the web over the last couple of days. For some reason, we missed it yesterday when it hit Kotaku and a whole bunch of other blogs. Uh, Our apologies for that. We just put it up on GTA4.net today, around uh, (laughs) right now. Uh, The link is in the show notes. There's the gameplay video floating around online. It's kind of dull. You just see a first-person perspective of the player walking through Liberty City, but he does get into a gunfight with the cops near the end of it. Uh, Hopefully, the actual gameplay is more exciting than the video because I think GTA 4 as a first-person shooter, or just Grand Theft Auto in general as a first-person shooter, would be a lot of fun, especially for the PC version, because, my God, you can actually aim when you have mouse look and first-person perspective. Just my two cents. And it's no secret that Chinatown Wars was never really popular on GTA Net. We did uh, set up GTAChinatown.com, but we never really did anything with it. Maybe it's the platform... Maybe it's the scale of the game, the perspective, I don't know, but uh, we never really got into it. I know I didn't, even though I did get it for the Nintendo DS, and then I got it for my iPhone. I could just never sit down and play it. It's not that the game is bad, I just couldn't get into it. But if you're one of those narcissistic asshole Apple iPad owners, good news everyone, next Thursday, September the 9th, Chinatown Wars HD will be available for the iPad in the App Store for $9.99 US. Who knows, maybe the larger resolution HD version will add a different sort of feel to it. One can only hope. Huh? To kick things off for question of the week, where would you not want to see Grand Theft Auto take place? We've all been sharing our ideas for GTA 5, where we'd like to see it take place, but where would you hate Grand Theft Auto to be? If there is one location in the world you would not want to see it, where would it be? Maybe you're sick of Los Venturas, Maybe you're sick of San Fierro, you're sick of San Andreas as a whole. Maybe you're sick of Liberty City, maybe you're sick of Vice City. Wherever it is, let us know. Send in a message to Andy at GTANet.com or post a message on the message board. We'll share the results next week. (coughs) All right, of course, uh, the big story on the message boards right now is, where is the blue? That big thread that just won't die, and everyone is posting in it and trying to figure out where are these pictures coming from. Well, I've actually had people message me on MSN of all places while I was sitting at work asking me, So, what do you know? To which I respond, I I don't know. What do I know? 
You see, people, the thing you need to understand is that it's no fun. It's no fun just giving you answers. <laughs> oh, no. It's better to just lead you along a little bit, you know? You're never going to hear any of the other people say this, but I will, because I like you. I like you all. So here's a little, little tidbit from me to you. When you're wondering what's going on with this strange logo mashup change thing, this sneaky little preview of something that may or may not hint at something that may or may not be related to what the logo is all about, just keep this in mind. Keep this in mind. The V. You know, the V, the logo? What appears within it? If you were looking at that image, what are you doing when you look at that image? Hmm? The person that would be looking at that image, who would they be? Where would they be? You know, everyone is obsessing over a tree right now, which I find quite hilarious. But, uh, you know, we had other pictures in there before. You know? We're not idiots. Uh, we do have some sort of tie-in between each of them. And we're just waiting for you guys to figure it out. You know? And you just keep putting up theories. And I'm not going to say if they're right or wrong. I'm just going to say. You're just putting up theories. That's all. They're just theories. They're just ideas. They may or may not be right. Hmm? may or may not be right. Just remember what I said. The perspective of the individual that would be looking at those images, hmm? Hmm? Who would they be? Hmm? Where would they be? Think about that. Sleep on it. Get back to me. Yeah, and that's it for this episode of the GTA Netcast. Thanks for listening. Hopefully the next episode will be even better with more than just me doing multiple silly voices. Thank you. And good night! Let's go.